Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another King of Fighters All-Star video. I hope you guys are doing really well. And I know that many of you are actually having a really exciting time with this banner. I'm personally having a, also a very exciting time. But at the same time, I'm also very, very busy with my studies. I have some couple of deadlines. I have to submit some case studies. So today I haven't really brought any sort of gameplays. I wanted to make a gameplay with Psyche. Probably I'm going to do it to tomorrow. And I'm kind of recorded this, recording this video at 5 a.m. in the morning, guys. So the basic thing is there are many good things about this banner. I have, I have kind of so far praised this banner due to its many properties, strong characters, and also some other properties. But there are also some issues. There are also some glaring issues that I also wanted to talk about. So first issue, let me quickly show you. And for that, we need to actually start a really quick gameplay. I'm going to show you the issue. So Kyo is here and the issue is related to Kyo. And for the first time in my entire life of Kofas, look at this. First of all, look at his face and let him finish his gameplay. Then you'll see his face. And for the first time in my Kofas life, I am kind of dissatisfied with the design, with the design of a character. It's unbelievable from a net Marvel game or Kofas that we can be dissatisfied with anything, but with Kofas design, probably this is the first time guys, but wait, I'll show you. Look at this. Look at Kyo's face. I mean, in which way this face corresponds to Kyo? The Kyo we know has nothing to do with this face. And I won't say this is a lazy piece of work. I, I would say this is a misdirected piece of work. The way they designed uh, his face. They kind of took quite a good amount of time to kind of narrow down his chins. Kind of giving him a narrow down, you know, what do you call it? This part. They kind of narrowed this part unusually which is not the actual face of Kyoku Sanagi I mean it was never so so this is one of my biggest objection and probably my first objection against design of this game and what should I say guys I love this game I respect this game I love the developers only only for the reason that my favorite characters are in this game and so far they have produced great designs. I'm happy with that. But if you do some mess up with the designs of my favorite characters, I won't say silent. I have to say something and I did say something guys. I'm going to show you what I did. Let me quickly show you to the browser. Take you to the browser. It's 5 a.m. guys. I'm already disoriented. I had to work all throughout the night. Okay, let me show you the browser. Okay. So, I kind of went ahead and wrote a sweet little email to our developers at King of Fighters All-Star. I said, design issues. Dear Kofas team, we have always praised the design you did with Kofas characters. However, the recent Ultimate Kyo 2001, we have noticed design issues. The face design of Kyo doesn't correspond to his actual face and characteristics. I have attached a screenshot. I hope you will understand. I hope you will take urgent steps to fix this issue. Uh, Kyo is the face of KOF. Please fix the design. Thank you, kind regards, Ron. And I have attached the same screenshot, the same winning pose. Oh my God. What should I say, guys? I'm doing these days high score in the guild. And whenever I finish my battles, whenever I see this face, my all the pleasure of doing the score simply fades away because I don't want to see this face. This is not Kyo. This is not the Kyo I pulled. This is not the Kyo. And guess what? Today, Netmarvel kind of came back with an answer. Greetings, contender. This is Netmarvel customer support. We apologize for the unpleasant experience. We understand that you have issues with Kios model, 2001 Kios model, we would like to let you know that this is 
valuable input for our development team. For your convenience, we will forward your feedback to our developers for review. Thank you for your patience and we continue to, uh, uh, as we continue to provide you with a better gaming experience. You may check official forum for announcement and updates. Of course, a nice response, I must say. I mean, considering the fact that they are way too busy with new games and development, this is a nice response. Now, it remains to be seen that how quickly they are going to fix this thing or are they going to fix this thing at all? They kind of acknowledge the issue and they have kind of forwarded this thing to the developers. Probably it will take some time. Probably it will be fixed. Probably it will be not. I'm not really sure, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that since they have kind of acknowledged this issue, they will do something about it. Let's see. Because if they, 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 don't do, they don't do anything about it, it is not going to be a good thing. Because Kyo is the face of KOF and the fans of Kyo will not say, stay silent about it. Now, this is the design related issue that I wanted to talk about. But there are many more. There are many more issues that I wanted to share. First of all, of course, the main in the banner, of course, we are having three characters, right? we go to the summons, we are having three characters. These two characters, both of them have been buffed. One has been buffed, that means Kusanagi has been buffed to a damage dealer and also a support. And this guy, Saiki, he has been buffed to head damage dealer. I mean, he was a damage dealer, his damage dealing abilities now has been increased. Now the biggest problem is, there is no way to get imprint stone for these two characters. Now you might ask that, okay, these are old characters, they are returning characters, so they are not going to give us the imprint stone. My question is why? What is the point of not giving the imprint stones? Because you are giving these characters to, to you are providing these two characters to mainly two type of people, right? First people who never summon these characters, second type of people who kind of probably summon this character, a couple of copies they got or they got the character at a very low level. Now they want to upgrade this character. Now, now they want to maximize this character, make them A9 because these characters are their favorite characters as Kyo is my favorite character. There is a lot of people who are diehard fan of Psyche or diehard fan of Kusanagi. What is their problem? Why they are not getting the imprint stones? Because they have equally the right to use this character and do the high amount of damage as these characters are showing the promises. Each and every day I am showing gameplays with these two characters. I am showing potentiality of these two characters. What if the new players are not getting the imprint stones and they are not getting that amount of damage? How? How Netmarble should justify themselves? Because these characters are old but their buffs are new. They have been buffed new with new abilities, with new use abilities. Now we can we can use them in the uh, AG challenge, strong as strong game mode as AG challenge. But still now in the game, imprint stone is the main thing. And if we take you to the characters, let's see the power distribution. One, two, three, four, five. Five battle cards are going to uh, empower your characters. There are five imprint stones and there are five plugins. So each department is giving you five things to make your character stronger or anything, right? Now, if I entirely miss out this section, that's a big difference. That's a, I would say 33% decrease of the entire potentiality of the character. So I don't know why Netmarble is not bringing these imprint stones. Maybe in the previous banner, they kind of brought the imprint stone of the volume one. Whenever they buffed the volume one, Ash and Maki, they already brought the imprint stones and many people kind of bought it, I think. But many people didn't. They didn't know that Psyche and Kusanagi is going to be buffed. Netmarble have never announced this thing. How come 
they would buy those imprints shown in advance without knowing that these characters are getting buffed. I would have never done that. I would have never done that. But guess what? The characters are here. Now, everything is going all right. We are getting the characters. We are not getting the imprint stones. So I totally would love to see those imprint stones back. I would love to. Uh, I would love to request Net Marvel uh, that even if you are bringing this Net Infinity Stones in a paid form, still please bring it, because many of the die-hard people are more than willing to spend money to get those Infinity Stones, and I think twenty-three to twenty-five dollars is was not really a bad deal when they brought them into the shop. But guess what? This time they brought nothing. So I think this is a major problem that they should solve and make these characters actually more useful. Now let me show you that what if you don't really have any imprint stones and as they are not really bringing any imprint stones, what do you have to do with that? You have to play the guild. You have to play this good old Rugal guild and Gizhard guild, especially his inferno mode, lunatic mode, expert mode and hard mode. All of these four modes will give you certain reward boxes and if you Go ahead to check out these reward boxes. You will see these double attack imprint stones. Of course, you can try to get as much as copies of these boxes and open these boxes. You will get certain amount of stones. But however, you have to match the right type. You have to match the right attack type. You have to match the top effect. I mean, there is a lot of lot of RNG involved. And if I show you my Kusanagi, let me show you that the stones I'm using with my Kusanagi. This is attack 10% increase balance type. You have to match these two things. Still, the middle effect is not going to support you. But still, I think 22% attack from here, 22% attack from here is all good for Psyche, uh, for, for Kusanagi because he's a support. He's never a damage dealer. But for Psyche, I think to excel his damage, Double attack imprint stone is a must. Of course, you need to collect these imprint stones from the guild the way I showed. But I totally hope that Netmarble would someday bring these stones the, the, so that the players can actually collect these stones and take their characters to the utmost potential that the characters are promising to us. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to support the content, support the channel. And I hope to see you guys soon in some other videos. Till then, stay awesome and peace out, my friends.